Redinger was everybody up there. Everybody Beth, up there. Beth, but, the Beth Redinger was the co-chair of that, and you guys are the cutting a case the, 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 the cutting track. cutting a track out of one of the other buildings. Correct. I can't promise you ours is not going to be as long as Joe's. <laughs> and that's not a knock on Joe, she did a nice job. Um, we have five slides and, and we really focused on what our task was of cutting um, a track from K6. So, here's our committee and um, as you can see, no matter where the cut comes from, we were going to gain $350,000 anywhere we, we cut. Um, it needed to be a, one track from one building, so a track being kindergarten through sixth grade, all of that needs to come from one, one building. Um, and again, the, the amount of money of reductions was going to remain the same. So given that, we moved on to taking a look at the buildings. Um, Alan was not included because I'm the principal and I wouldn't allow it. No, that's not allowed. <laughs> uh, the information we got beforehand um, was that was not an option. Avenue A was not an option because they were being considered in, in another committee. So taking those two buildings off, we were left with six buildings. Um, looking at those six buildings, uh, two of those had three track, were three, three, three track buildings, the other four were one track. Right away, the committee said, or the other four were two track buildings. Right away, the committee said it doesn't make sense to make another one track building, and so we just swept all four of those buildings that were two track off. So then that just narrowed it down to McCandless and Morgan because they had three tracks. Um, our recommendation, I'll just tell you right now, is to um, remove a track from McCandless and uh, I'll get to here's why. Um, the current population, including the 40 Head Start students at McCandless is, as you can read, 489 students. Compare that to Morgan. Morgan's population is 512. When you look at the free and reduced population, 98% um, free and reduced, qualify for free and reduced at, at McCandless. Um, I called Rod, he didn't know the numbers. Um, for free and reduced, but it was 30s, 40%. Um, 38 is kind of the number we're hearing. So um, looking at those two, uh, there's, a, there's a big discrepancy in student needs um, right away. Um, the SPED population was another big factor. 116 students in, at McCandless currently have IEPs. Compare that to uh, Morgan where they have 78 um, which is 24% versus 15%. Um, just the sheer number of IEPs that the administrators would need to sit in on, 116, um, even if you divide that equally amongst the administrator, that's 58 IEPs in, in a year, um, which is a lot. Uh, so looking at that, looking at the needs of the students, um, looking at the title programs, um, everything made sense to cut the, the track from McCandless, the K-6 track from McCandless to alleviate, help, dis, um, I don't want to say disperse, but those students would then be um, reboundaried through the boundary study and raising the numbers from the other buildings that maybe don't have as high a need of students. Um, one caveat in this recommendation, the committee talked a lot about um, if we make this cut and they become a two-track building, uh, what do we do with the assistant principal? Um, the recommendation of the committee was to continue to keep the assistant principal there to help with the high needs of the students, um, both in behavior and SPED um, and things like that. So our recommendation is to cut from McCandless, but keeping the, the uh, assistant principal intact. Um, Moving on, uh, if you have questions to this point on why we chose McCandless over Morgan, um, one weekend we voted it was Morgan, the next weekend we voted it was McCandless, last week we had some really great discussion and all came to a consensus on, on McCandless was the one that made the most sense. 
Um, additional information to consider, um, cutting a track from either one of these buildings still allows growth to happen. And if budgets come back and populations increase, we still have the space and room. Um, the other piece, uh, classrooms could be used for other additional programs, um, like moving sped or modified. We started to look into that. Uh, the further we got into it, the more we discovered we needed to bring other people at the table before we could make a recommendation. Uh, the vision would be to have one track of modified in one building. Um, there's been some discussion that uh, transfers in, in, you know, from K2 and then the kids have to transfer again and then transfer again. It's hard on students, but there's also some evidence that was cited by several different principals that sometimes those transitions are good and, and change is good for those kids. I, and I know in my building when they come, uh, they're at another building from K2 and then they come to my building at third through six. That's a great, so we have time and time again where kids have just been, it's been a great transition for them. So we weren't quite ready to make a decision or a recommendation on where the sped should look. We do recommend it needs to be studied, it needs to be carefully looked at, um, but we need more people at the table and, and to consider what all that looks like, including if we make a recommendation, what types of um, cottages, accommodations, or restrooms that we need to add or take away um, on that. Head Start program would remain in the building. Uh, the district would, uh, when we look at the specials, there's not a lot um, that we have to consider other than tweaking their schedules. Instead of um, a three track school scheduling, they would just be on two tracks, so it, it's minor schedules and principals felt like they could make that work. Van Orchestra's schedules would actually remain the same. Um, we weren't able to fully uh, study the effects, um, uh, again, of the SPED recommendation, but we do think it needs to be looked at at this time. What questions do you have? Sorry we didn't have pictures, but. <laughs>